Gross. Welcome back. Welcome to a rant video, and we we <laughs> really don't ever do rant videos at all. That no, often. but but this time there's a reason to. Okay, how about you start it off, Jeff? You're the one that told me about this going on, and then I saw videos and thought my own opinions and said things, and I got blocked. And but so, you, you go first. Um, I'll give you the I'll give you the little rundown of background of what's been going on with um if you don't know there's a company called at games at games um they have a facebook page i don't know i forget what it is is it, is it at games like i like, always call it at games but people call them at games at games uh i don't know people always say the name no but is it at games with like the at games flashback zone that's on that's on twitter on facebook i don't um, i think it's just at games no it's also the same thing on facebook i've seen their facebook group it's the same thing Okay. Or their face of food. Either way, so in the in the past and now in the present, they all they do is they come out. They they're a company that life that gets licensing to, um, you know, retro games, whether it be you know Sega Genesis games or Atari games or Namco games or or I guess Capcom games or whatever they get their hands on, and and you know sometimes arcade games also because they have done arc, uh, arc, arcade version of games before in the past, but every time they make a console, they fail. There's, well, not, not, no, 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 no. There's one, you know something though, everyone that's, that's ever had a review of their consoles, more, nine times out of ten, not that, not that it's perfect, and not that it's amazing or great, but it's good enough where the Atari systems are the better console to get. Yeah, somehow they make better Atari clone consoles than Sega clone consoles. Every time they've made a Sega clone console, time and time again, they fuck it up. And you know something, though? I I own one, and you know what? About a month and a half ago or so, I was upstairs helping my stepdad clean up upstairs, throw a bunch of craps in around that didn't, no one was doing anything with, no one needed any of it anymore. It was old CDs, DVDs, and other things. Guess what was up there? What? controllers for the Sega at games console that we got a couple of years ago from an ex corker of Anthony's. And you know what else? I think the system was up there too. Guess what I did with them? Sure, you, you threw them out. I threw them where they belong. Them. I threw them where they belong. In <clears throat> the fucking garbage. That's where they belong. So now, you can't say fuck, gotta get this now, get just so We're already demonetized. <laughs> just so you guys have an idea of how bad these consoles are, for just for an instance, I, I heard reviews and you know, and I, and I, and you know, they, they're all the same thing where they go, oh, well, you know, the, the graphics are, are, you know, subpar, because most of the console before 2017 were all using AV cables, or as, as, uh, more, more people like to call it the composite cables, which are just the red, white, and yellow cable. No HDMI. I mean, no high definition. The lowest quality you're gonna get is probably 240p at best. I can't test that to tell you what the resolution would be on that. But, whatever the highest resolution would be on Genesis or Atari at the time, or however high they can get it with, with composite cables. But, the graphics are poor, because it's not even good composite. Like, composite not great anyway, but it's not even the best you can get it at. The sound quality, especially, especially on Sega Genesis consoles, is like taking a knife and sticking it in your ear and just twisting it 12 times. Shit. <laughs> And so you're gonna bleed. Shit. Like literally, I literally had. Be ready to have some uh, napkins and gauzes on standby if you ever buy any of their consoles, because your ears are gonna be severely bleeding from playing them because the sound is that awful. Well, I'll tell you this right now. I can tell you a first-hand experience. I they sound terrible. I have one of those AV switches where you can switch between different consoles. Yes. And on the fly, I literally plug in because I bought an at game system, a Genesis system, just to see. How bad it really was. I had, and I, I had like the Sega three. And I plugged in. One. I plugged in the At Games Genesis. I forget which one it was, but it wasn't the flashback. It was the one that came out before it, I guess. Yeah, that's the one I had. It, it looks like and resembles like the Sega Genesis three. It's a uh, small little Sega Genesis. Yeah, three. but they always but they always took that design and re re released it like years and years and years. Well, ago. I have I have one of those. You have the really early well, version. Well, had I threw it in the garbage. So. Well, technically, apparently that was called the AT. Mm -hmm. The one you have is called the AT. Games Firecore, which is technically the Genesis 4. It came with 80 games on it installed, and you can also put game cartridges in it. But I did that, and I'm not exactly sure, don't quote me on this, people, but I think I ruined those games after playing no, them. You because can't. I tried playing some of them again years later on my Retro 5. They did not work. 
No. At all. Well, that's the Retro and Five's fault. It's not AT games. That, or maybe it's just because of how say, the cartridges were. I don't know, but I will tell you this: working. that's not that's not a reason why the um, cartridges fail. They're just probably old. A, nothing that AT T games has ever done and made cartridges break. I'll tell you that right now. But <laughs> well, it'll be a matter of time. <laughs> what I, but put it this way: I had I bought a, a Genesis clone console from them. Back in like 2017, 2016, whatever that one they had out at the time, and I just wanted to see what it was. I paid full price for it. I think I paid like 40, 50 bucks for it, whatever the hell it cost. And you know something? They are straight up liars. Yeah, now not only are they lying to people, they're scamming people out of their money. Well, Innocent people. Well, what if that, well, first off, this is, this is, they advertise on the, on, on a Sega, on a Sega Genesis clone console. The one that I bought, they then then not the why with the water ranting. I'm just gonna get, I'm giving you an idea of their background, just so you know. They advertise that you're gonna get 80, 80 Genesis games fully in the in the package, and whatnot. But what do you really get? You you get I don't know the, the exact numbers, but I know for a fact that you get around like forty Genesis games. You get like twenty or thirty. Well, t- if it's if it's 40 and 20, it's 60. So I'll, I'll, I'll round it off. You get like 40 Genesis games, you get like 20 Master Sister games. That doesn't, so that's not even included. That's like 20 games that's not included in the Sega Genesis already. And then the rest of the games, however many are left on there, are all just like knockoff pirate, not pirate game, pirate game, but knockoff fan game, or custom me game that at game that made, or made, paid the one to make and just stick on there. That, have no relevance to any console or anything whatsoever. So it's literally like go buying one of those like really cheap plug and play consoles, and you just get a bunch of random games that are not actual real games. Like some some of the systems that come out like with the Spider Man games. Yeah. And they just have a bunch of games you can't get anywhere else and stuff like that. But that's one way to know that you're getting scammed because it says 80 Genesis games, and you're only getting like 40, and then 20 different other system games, and like 20 fake games. They need to get sued and arrested for false advertising because that's what they're doing. Yeah, and then now today in in 2018, just a couple of weeks ago, there's a big controversy going on between then and now. And every day, and I'm pretty sure there's a video on online somewhere right now about talking about it even more that they did some other stupid shit because they have come out and publicly said that guess what? Because they can't. Because they need to make money somehow. The, the one thing they were relying on, and I guess they fucking just rushed out the door the minute they the minute this happened. And I'm and I'm I'm guessing this. I'm not sure 100, percent but I'm but you wouldn't doubt me if it was true. You wouldn't doubt any any of it though. That the minute they announced that Sega announced the Sega Genesis Mini um, console that they were developing themselves. They announced, and then At the Games came out. This this is like a couple of months ago, but back in the summer around E3. That ad game came out on Facebook, saying that you know we were we were solely responsible for the ad game um, Genesis Mini Cons. We we're the one that Sega announced themselves, not ad game, but Sega announced it themselves. They were responsible for it, and they were saying it was going to have you know better games, better better quality, better um you know frame frame rate, and better emulation. The way to set so games technology, which as if that's even a good thing. And just to just to say, put it this way, they put it made an HDMI console beforehand, and um, you know that didn't even go well. And I'm not gonna go into that. But here's the thing, though. After they put that post up on Facebook, literally, like someone screenshotted that, and then they got because they got, they, got they, they took it off just like that, meaning. Either a day, either a couple hours afterwards, or a day after, or whatever, and it's like nowhere to be found. But apparent, but they put it on Facebook and they put it on Twitter, and now you cannot find, you cannot find it anywhere because they they got rid of it. But they they weren't probably allowed to say that they were making the console because I, I am assuming that there was gonna be no branding on it on on at game part. But they were they were involved with it, and that Sega just didn't want the bad the bad PR anymore. So they were like, here's the console, but. You know what the problem with that is, though. Also, what it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you put the uh, game branding in it, branding on it or not. It's literally just if they release that console the way it was supposed to be ma- released first, mm-hmm. 
it would have it would have been terrible to begin with. Well, yeah. And then that then and then you're, you were trying then, to be optimistic about it when it was announced, and I'm like, no, dude, I'm assuring you it's going to be garbage. And then Sega kicked them and gave them the boot. Yeah, but you know, Thank you, know you know what the problem with? And I'm glad they did that. You know what the the bigger problem with that is? It would have been a piece of crap. It would have been a piece of crap, but if they, they kept but they have no but they have no branding on it that that ties into ad games. So literally, they would have released the console. It would have said Sega on it, and then they would have got their their they would have got their asses screwed because yeah, of the fact Sega would have looked bad. Well, it would have looked terrible because Sega never made a bad product themselves. I mean, don't get me wrong. You have the Game Gear and whatnot, and that that that's like that's like putting a Game Gear on on, on a scale and weighing it between the pros and cons. But not the point. There's there's always good things and bad things about a console, but overall, there's no Sega's like Sega Sega's about anything. Accurate. Sega doesn't make cons- consoles anymore, but when they, when they did and when they and then they do, and which they are going to now because they fired at games, their consoles are going to be amazing. And I'm I'm damn ass sure There'll that actually that Sega Nintendo Sega Sony. fired them because they didn't want the Sega fired them because they didn't want the bad the bad press anymore and the fact that you know people are buying the games, but. You know, a lot of the impact on 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 the consoles are when people go out there and they are able to send out review units. And Sega would like to re- send out review units to people sometimes, and you know, or re- review games or whatever the hell they're doing. And you know something? If they come out and say that At Games is making this, because because I'm, I'm damn sure that they're not they're not going to color color anything up and not going to try to you know make anything seem better than it is, unless unless it was actually true. But they're not going to go out and say, "Here's a review unit of this mini console. I want, I want you to, um, you know, review it for us." And then someone comes up and says, "Well, who made this?" Well, we did, and who else? At Games, and then there, there you go. They now. get laughed out the door. Exactly. So they, they, they literally fired At Games and said, "No, we're not having you anymore. We're not doing this anymore." And they're all of. All of the development for the for the Sega Genesis Mini Console is now in in house development, meaning their own teams, their own people that are working at Sega. And I'm not sure. I I don't know which version, which part of Sega is doing it. If it's Sega of America or if it's Sega of Japan. But regardless of what it is, I'm pretty sure that we're That's gonna get gonna a, good. We're gonna if even if if say like because I know Japan can Sega Japan is a little bit better a little bit better than Sega of America when it comes to anything because. But either or, it would have been a way. Even if like, even if it was, a, it was, a, it was a bad console. Even though it won't be, but even if it was, it would be way better than the at game console for sure. Yeah, you know why they fired them? Because they want to actually be able to compete with Nintendo and Sony with the NES Classic, SNES Classic, and the PS One Classic. They wouldn't be able to even come close to competing with them if they kept that games on, because the product would have been just a piece of garbage. No, because now you actually with the budget of a Twinkie. Yeah, but you know something now. Now you, you know you know you know what you can all we can, you know what's coming back though now that's really like going back to the nineties. The, the Bandai Namco system. Well, no, not that. But because aren't we going to talk about that next? Because we do need to talk about that. That's very no, we funny. are going to talk about that, and I'm going to give them the background of that. But you know what's you know what's coming back now, and I didn't even realize it. What you have the NES Mini, you have the Sega. I mean, you have the, the um SNES Mini, SNES Mini, an official licensed Sega Genesis Mini. And now you have a PlayStation 1 Mini. Yeah. The console wore the back, people. Yeah, that's so true. It's so cool that we yep. have that come back. The console wore the It's like back. the old days of the 90s, the console wars. <laughs> but with the Bangai Namco system that came out. Oh, yeah. So Talk about with John Hancock and uh, mm-hmm. Ned Little Pixel. Talk. Yeah, I'll definitely talk about that. So but why, I talked about, was why I talked about the Sega Genesis Mini for a minute was because I... I think coming up to this next point and the reason why all this is happening now, and I think the minute they fired at games, so I got fired at game at games like oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. We're screwed, we gotta do something. Quick, put together all these different consoles, even though they're just a bunch of different pieces, just put them together somehow. Done. Here, oh my god, um a uh, piece of paper, go <laughs> Anyone will buy that. <laughs> Let's the just draw something on a piece of paper and people buy it. <laughs> Here's tissue. <laughs> Uh, they might as well. Uh, have. That's it's like it's like when 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 Squidward when Squidward was a ghost and he tried to make SpongeBob play a song with a tissue. Yeah. <laughs> it's like oh uh, my god, yeah. It's like here. No, or, or wait, it's like, what is it? I can wait. Just wait a, a second. Piece of tissue paper. I guess. can't do anything with this. Oh, we always have to have it our way, don't we? Oh, boo boo. <laughs> the was a fresh watermelon from the manure fields. Your sporkiness. <laughs> All right, but um, so, so with Bandai Namco's so, system that they've released, 
they announced, and I'm pretty sure this is why they did it with the after the firing of of At Games. At Games announced they were making seven consoles, and I'm not. I don't even want to call them consoles. Even though that's they, that's what they call them. I don't even want to call them consoles because there's only one console that they actually have, and it's called the Legends um, Legend Flashback, which is a console that has 50 games on it. But it's like the, the the Legends of Gaming back in the retro days, meaning as you know, Pac Man. The first console to ever have Mega Man on it that they made it has Street Fighter the arcade versions. It's got Mappy. It's got all the, all the good stuff all together put into one. And you know something? John Hancock reviewed that system, and you know he got he gave it a mixed review, but overall, for what it was, it was a good it was a good system. And you know they they with their arcade ports, they could do good with their arcade ports. I don't understand. Why they can't do anything else right, but the arcade port they do do pretty well. Yeah, the system he got compared to Metal Pixel, who's an up up and coming YouTuber with similar content. He, uh, Metal Pixel got the crappy uh, ROMs version of the same system John Hancock got. They paid the yeah. same amount of money. John Hancock, if uh, we'll put the video in the description for them testing out the system. Well, but yeah, well John yeah, Hancock well, got one with the superior uh, ROMs on well, the system. Let me, and they they paid the same price for the same yeah. system. Well, let me the let me from this crappier. Well, let me other. correct you on that because uh, uh, because the the Legend flashback wasn't what John Hancock John Hancock reviewed like like four or five of the systems that he got yeah. from Mac Games. What happened was John Hancock, and this is this is just literally like a week or two before the console was supposed to be released in, in stores. Right. Meaning meaning they already knew that that whatever they gave out. Is what people are gonna at games already knew because it's like any any other any other thing that you review you get a copy of a game let's say um what's out now um Sonic Sonic Mania or or Red Dead Redemption okay put it down on the table Red Dead Redemption okay um Rockstar Games millions of copies are, are being produced right now they give out like twenty thousand to all these reviewers right okay you go okay now the reviewer got it got it in their hands okay. No, this is the game we're getting, right? This is this is our copy. Yeah, anything special with it? No. Okay, so this is this is exactly the same copy that we're gonna get in stores. So nothing different. Maybe they might get the digital version or the or the physical version. Doesn't matter. It's the same game all, all around. When people when they put that review online, people expect to see what what that game is, and that and what they see is what they get later on. Now with at games, one of the seven consoles. Was uh, the Bandai Namco, Namco flashback, yeah. and most of these systems that they're making are HDMI sticks. That's why I don't call them consoles, because these sticks are literally just twenty dollars. Um, you know, pick pick up and play. Put them in your buy them for Christmas. Throw them in a stocking stuffer and say, "Here you go." Maybe maybe your kid like to play Pac Man for like a couple hours, or, or maybe, maybe your husband maybe or wife, husband or, or wife, or girlfriend, whoever. boyfriend, or maybe even your dog likes Pac Man for some reason. Your cat just sitting there and like, mm. oh, absolutely, they don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> anyway, so they released this Namco Nam Bandai Namco um, flashback um, blast. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember weird, the fuck fucking naming convention. No, because all, all their game, all their systems have the blast on, except for the Ultimate Legend, which is a, the real console or tech quote unquote console. Anyway, they released this console. The only blasting going on is me wanting to put a shotgun shell in those systems. I'm surprised they didn't rip off blast processing in it. Oh god, no! Please. Anyway, so they they don't even they don't even release this product yet. They give a review in and out, and I don't know anyone else, and I haven't seen anyone else, so I'm not going to quote anyone else, but all I know is that John Hancock got a review copy of, of the thing. They don't tell John Hancock that it's a beta, that, it, that it's a prototype, that it's, you know, alpha, that it's pre-release software, that it's subject to change. They don't tell him nothing. He's like, here's the console, here I want you to review it, and you get paid for it. I'm like, okay, whatever, fine. You know, that's how reviews work, you know. So, he reviews it. John Hancock has, you know, you know, the pros and cons of the system. Overall, though, he's very positive about the system. You know, eight games. We'll put his video in the description of the video. Yes. Along with anyone else's videos we talk about. Other systems he reviewed, though, from them were a hit and miss, but surprisingly, this At Games Bandai Namco system has eight games on it, and you get Pac-Man, Galaga, Mappy, um, he got the version, there's two versions, I'll explain what the two versions are in a second though. So we got Pac-Man, Galaga, Mappy, Tower of Giralga, Giralgo, or whatever, 
I forget how it is. And it's like th three other like arcade games on there or something like that. But they're all in total, there's eight games on there. All arcade ports. Now, when he reviewed the box game, the box on the, on the the box art for, for the for the packaging said you're gonna get eight of these arcade games. Whatever in the box is what you're getting, and you know that's it. And you know what? That's what he got. And, and I don't know what's happening with that. It's like, okay, cool. Guess what? This is actually a quality system. I know there's one or two hiccups in the in, in the in the system, why not? But regardless, it's, it's one of their best systems they got so far. So. You know, he recommended, you know, if you want to pick it up, pick it up. 20 bucks, it's cheap for 8 games. You know, trying to play those games right now, and trying to get those legally and paying for them, it's like, you know, probably going anywhere between, you know, buying one giant arcade system for 7,000 bucks to play one game, or, you know, getting one of those Raspberry Pis, or getting, like, an ar a, a replica arcade system, and, you know, buying them for, for a cheap price. Anyway, so, that review comes out, everyone's like, okay, you know, I, I trust him. John Hancock's a really nice guy, a really reputable guy. Yeah, we well, met him at the and, Retro Gaming Expo. Yeah, and you know something though, he, when he reviews something, he reviews it and he reviews it fairly. He doesn't give it. He doesn't. He doesn't pull any bullshit and say, "Oh, this game." He doesn't like you know put add extra stuff into it, saying this game better than that or this you should buy this because of this or you shouldn't buy it because of that and like bash him on He's a honest and fair review. And you know what? People took that to heart. So, so people went out. They went to go and buy. The um, Bandai Namco Flashback Blast system, and they come to realize that from their from At Games website and press release on the Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff, that there's two different there's two versions of of the, of the console. There's the original version, a, a regular version, which is ex, um, sold in like Target or, or Kmart or Bed Bath Beyond or. Wherever, they, wherever you get these consoles, CVS, drugstores, wherever. Then there's the Walmart exclusive. The Walmart exclusive takes away Tower of Daruga and replaces it with Pac-Mania. So you're getting two Pac-Man games on that system instead of one on, on the original. Now, what the what the weird thing is, though, is that um, a guy on, on YouTube called Mad, Mad, Little Pixel. Mad Little Pixel... He's an up-and-comer, new, <laughs> new YouTuber who's... He's not, he's, not, he's not that new, but he's not, like, he's not... He hasn't been around for that long, but... No, but he, you know, he... He goes, he's getting ridiculous. He goes, he goes around, he, you know, he buys these, con these, these consoles that Atkin makes or any other co any other company makes, and, you know, he reviews them and stuff like that. And he was like, you know what, it would be fun to just, you know, review this system, see how it is, because, you know... Why not have a laugh at that game anyway? You know, yeah. one guy, one guy can go out. Always and, a good time. Well, even though, even though one guy who gives a fair and honest review of a console doesn't, you know, doesn't doesn't make the judgment for every single person. Yeah. And so he goes out, he buys it, and he buys the Walmart exclusive because knowing that that John Hancock got the original version, or so would it be to be the original version? And I'll tell you why in a second. He bought the Walmart exclusive so we could see how Pac Mania was and on there and whatnot. And he comes to find out that you know. He doesn't realize it first at all, and until until someone points it out to him, and then he he you know he goes back and reviews and reviews his stuff and whatnot, and makes another video and comes out and says that one the the one that John Hancock got had all arcade ROMs in it, like fully stocked arcade ROMs that Namco owns and licenses themselves right to At Games on that system, or I'm assuming they did it and they didn't just steal them and sell them. I don't know what the fucking tack is At Games has. But the one that Mad, Mad Little Pixel got, he got a same console for the Walmart exclusive. The box art says get eight games, Pac Mania included, and it show and it, the screenshots on there show eight games of all arcade ROM ports. And when you plug it in, what you get is the home console version of the NES versions, which are yeah, the NES and no matter of those and games. no matter what you what system you play, no matter what console you play up up until I guess around the Sega CD and then all upward to the N64 and PS1 and so forth every home version pet before that meaning PS meaning Sega Genesis SNES NES Turbo Graphics all the Atari all the old stuff all the home consoles have these inferior versions to the arcade system because the arcade system are always built on proprietary hardware and you know when you when you make a console, you have to, it's it's built for, it's built for, you have to make millions of games for that one one hardware configuration. Anyway, he finds out that he gets the NES version of the game, and then he gets pissed off like, "Well, John Hancock got this version. Why did I not get this version?" 
and why are they showing false advertisement on the box art and not telling people that we got the NES versions. So, right off of the bat, you know, that's false advertising. That's illegal. And that's illegal. That's more illegal than you can think of because you don't tell people what you're getting. You, well, you're telling people on the box art you're getting the arcade version and you're not getting the arcade version, you're getting the inferior version. And then you go out and say, well, we're not going to say anything. We're just going to release this and not tell and not tell a goddamn person what what not anything. Then that's illegal. Yeah. No. Then the thing is now, and th this has been this has been going on for the past two days now. And mind you, this is um Saturday, October twentieth. So any information that I say that changes this will probably be cha will probably there's probably information out there that's going to change in this video as I'm making as we're saying this rant, but um. First thing that comes up, at, you go you go to At Games and people and Mad Little Pixel came up and said that um he he went on a, he went on Twitter tagged At Games and, and said something I forget what he said exactly Mad Little Pixel said but he gave him a little criticism and asked him you know this I I something along the line that this is the that I feel like this is a scam. Uh, why did I get the NES version of a console with this and that? Back and forth, they've been going on, and their initial response at game came, came 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 to us and said, "If if you don't like our console and you don't like what what we're, what we're presented to you, you you can call customer support and have them help you." Um, in the meantime, the initial release, the initial production of the of the of the at game Namco, Namco flashback. The last console had the arcade ROMs in it, but at last minute we had at last minute we had we had a change in production. So the all the stores are getting the are the NES ROMs, and later productions later productions of the console are gonna are gonna get the the arcade versions, but we can't tell you when. So now they're not telling people when the when the arcade version coming out at this time. Of the timeline, because there's more to this at the end. I mean, after this, but they're not telling people when the arcade version is coming out. So it's it's literally like getting a grab bag. You pick it up, you don't know what you're gonna get. You either get the, the shitty version or you get to get the poor version. I mean, or, or the good version. You never know. Then, Mad Little Pixel, Mad Little Pixel kept commenting to at at games. I forget what he said exactly, but he got blocked. Actually, no. He didn't comment anymore. He got blocked and posted it on Facebook saying he got blocked straight up. Then a good a good YouTuber, very very good YouTuber, we'll put his video in the description also, both videos actually that that describe all this. So we're going to put all the links to John Hancock videos, all the links to to um Mad Little Pixel and We'll also put links to Review Tech USA's recent videos. That's what I'm going to. Because he goes into really good detail. Review Tech USA uh, is, the, is the first person that actually got me to notice this problem. And then, after he posted that, and literally, I am not joking about this, all he did was talk about the facts. What I'm telling you right now. John Hancock got the arcade version. Mad Little Pixel got the NES versions of the, of the ROMs. And then he showed side by side. He didn't take anything out of context. He he just went up and pointed out straight facts, heart and simple facts, not bashing at games. He just wants to know why this is happening, right? Yeah. And all he did was he said post video on YouTube, post share video on Twitter, and all he did on Twitter was tag at games. So it says YouTube whatever it says on his on his YouTube on his Twitter page, but it's like YouTube video YouTube video and then at games. New YouTube video, right? Yeah, and he was and asking them what was going on. Guess what? They blocked Rich, and they were trying to say, oh, we only block people who are harassing us. I guess, by your logic, everybody in the world's harassing you then, because you don't know how to handle criticism. And you know what? I actually tweeted to them, too, after I saw those videos, because I'm disgusted with their evil and unethical business practices. You want to know what I said? I said from our Twitter, and I'm going to put screenshots here as I read them, so you guys can read along with me. If you guys can't even make one competently made console that didn't take the budget of a Twinkie to make, I don't see how you'll even make this or those other consoles you recently announced. Unless maybe, dot dot dot, this is all a scam with a shocked emoji like mouth hanging open. Uh, shame on you guys. 
And I got people re- like liking that post. A few people liked that post, didn't reply though. And then they said that we'd like to thank all of you for like the positive like feedback, whatever, on the announcement of like their other new consoles. And then I replied to that post saying, "You mean the obvious scam you're pulling, right?" Because the problem with me, people, I can't lie unless I hate you. I have a horrible problem with being able to just be honest, have no filter. I'm not able to lie to people, and I don't sugarcoat things, so I'm flat out honest, and called them out and told them, you guys are scamming people, stop it. And you know how they responded? I'll put a picture here that I sent to Jeff the other day. They blocked us on Twitter, because they know that we got to them for calling them out on their evil business practices. Do you know? And someone replied to my one about saying, oh, so this you mean the scammer pulling, right? Someone replied saying, be careful, they don't take criticism unwell, they might block you, uh, and two crying laughing emojis shake my head. And I'm like, I said back to him, oh, well, they will, don't worry. By the way, we are run by two people, is what I meant earlier. So from us, not just one person called them out here on Twitter and on their official page, but two, we both did. My partner did more technologically as I was more straightforward. Someone else replied saying, still waiting for that game to block me so I can show the world with three crying laughing emojis. And you know what? The person that replied to me saying that to be careful what I say or they'll block me. Well, when he said that to me, they already did block us on Twitter. It's because they know that I'm right. You and know what? And I said they will block because they have... I mean, I said to the other person that said that they're waiting for the blocking second show world, I'm like, yeah, they will because they've been blocking anybody who criticizes them and replies on their Facebook page from them back in distractors like us. Well, they decided to reply and act like children. You know, They'd reply to us. They blocked us. But yeah, I know. On Facebook, you might be right. You said they probably have a different person running their Facebook page as opposed to their Twitter page. They're probably run by two different people. Maybe that's the reason they didn't block us yet on Facebook. You know what? You know what it is um, though on their Facebook page, but on Twitter they blocked us. You know, you know what it is though, and it's it's weird. Is that you know if you're if you're trying to come up with a with with, with, a, with a legit response or you know you're trying to cover your asses, at least cover your asses somewhat. Don't just go and say, well. We, you know, we think it's a scam. We know, we, we probably know it's a scam, and you're not doing anything to fix it. And you know what they do? What? They just block you. You can't, and, and then they call you out and say that, that you're harassing them because, because you can't own up to your own criticism, to, to your, to the criticism that's coming back at you. And what, what the weird thing is though, that after they got blocked, right? After we, after we, after we got blocked, Mad Little Pixel also did another video after that. And after after Richard's video uh, saying after he posted it on Facebook on Twitter to them because he made the video saying that he got blocked because they claimed harassment and whatnot and you know it's not a big and he said in the video it's not a big deal that we should be talking about this and no one should be talking about this because you know it's just a small company but you know something they've been doing this kind of shit for over over a decade now and you yeah, know what and no one wants to deal with it anymore no one wants to deal with it and you know something it's like if you can if you Literally, are now having your own company. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that I'm not assuming that they, you know, they, they always resided in California and USA because that's what their Twitter says when, where their location is of their business. But for what I know is that if you are making console for ten years straight and people are always calling you out on, on everything on, on social media, on YouTube comments, on Facebook, YouTube videos, YouTube videos. All everyone, you know, buying the consoles, and you're not, and, and all of a sudden now, you want to go out and you know give out these review units to people. All of a sudden, you're not just, you're not just, you know, you couldn't done do that things before because you know your shit, your shit was was shitty in the first place. But what I'm getting at is like you shouldn't be able to to take a console, give it to someone. And say, here's the console. Here's what we're producing, and here's what we're making. And here's we're going out, out 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 on shelves a week or two from now, and then claim that we do not have this product anymore whatsoever. Because how how fast can a company release a product to a reviewer and then literally come out? And this is the second thing too. Now this is this is going into the second thing. They 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 changed their story now and they lied. They're saying now to people, multiple people on Twitter, on direct comments and direct messages, and also Facebook too. Command Lord picked up the video and took all the all the information together and put it in all in one video. That they're giving information, like just if I went there and I talked to them, they would give me they would give me one story. Brandon went there, 
they would give him a different story. If you went there, they would give him a different story. It's like it's just it's just a, sh- a pile of garbage that keeps going. You know, that keeps getting piled up and piled up and piled up. And you know something? It's it keeps smelling and it keeps smelling and it keeps smelling. And, and then you know what? I like your metaphor. Yeah, and you know something? It smells like a scam. But if you keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it, some people are gonna vomit over what you do. Yeah, and because you want to you want to know something? <laughs> I didn't even read what my Facebook posts on their page said. You want to know? Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you after. I'll, t- I'll right. you, you can read that after because what? Because okay. what, I want to finish this part. Um, okay, I'm interested. I know what they've been telling people, and I swear to God, the first thing that they told that, they, that they've been telling people is that. We that that they, that the initial the initial the initial production of of the, of the Namco Flashback Blast console had arcade ROMs on it, and the the um, but they ran into some term from production issues or whatever. And now that the uh, that the the retail version, the one that you're buying in store, are going to have the NES ROM, and later on we're gonna we're gonna produce the ones that have the um the arcade ROMs. Okay, and I said that before. They're not going to tell us when it is, when we're going to get it. It's like just a just it's a mystery grab bag. You, you, you just wait. You just play play the waiting game. You pick it. You choose it. Whenever you get it, you get it. But now, here's what they're telling people now: they were never intended to ever produce the arcade version ever. Which is like, why the hell did you release? We always intended. We always intended. We always intended to produce the NES ROMs. On the on the system, this is what they're telling people. There's no reason John Hancock should have gotten a superior version, and that was just dumb luck that he did. I don't understand how that happened. It was Manuel Pixel will send his video too. It's either one or two things, either and most likely the the, the latter though, where they where they did scam him. Yeah, but one or two things could have happened. They could have scammed him and gave him a product review to him review, so they could you know make it seem like a better product so people can buy it. Yeah, or. At, for some for some stupid reason, and I don't believe this at all, even though it could be a li- it could be a likely scenario too, is that they were handing out these review units, and all of a sudden he just randomly they just randomly started putting you know like on the com- you have the conveyor belt full of consoles that they just put in boxes, packaging them, and we're like, oh, one out of twenty of them got the arcade version. I don't, I don't and I mean, I I could believe I could believe that on on the quality assurance. That they don't know how to how, how to handle quality at all. Quality assurance. What quality assurance? You no, know, the insurance of when it, when a person looks at a console and says, "Uh, oh my God, it makes money. Let's sell it. No matter what, I don't give a crap what it looks like. Let's just sell it and make money." No, but <laughs> I, but, but here's the thing, though. I think John Hancock got used in. That's scams. what I think too. But here's the thing, and though. If he did, I feel bad. But here's the thing, though. Then they're telling people that. If we do have any information, because they said we were, ne- we were never intended to have the arcade version in stores, basically what they're saying, and we're going to get the and the and the, and the store version are getting the NES ROM. But if we ever intend, if we ever intend to release or can release the arcade versions, we will let you know in the future. So right off the bat, we're never getting the arcade version right now, and now or the, the foreseeable future. And then they 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 reply back to people on 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 Twitter and Facebook saying, well. If you don't like, if, if if you have an issue with your console and you purchase, this is the, this is the first story that they're that they're giving as a rebuttal, as as a support option. If if you don't, if you have an issue with your console and things are going wrong with it and this and that, blah blah blah, and you have any any, any gripes or issues, please contact customer support and we'll see what we can, we can do with you. Basic response for any company. Yeah. Even though they're not going to do anything, but not the point. And then. They change their story and and they're because they're they're giving people and they're giving people different 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 things. They're not giving anyone one answer anymore. And they're saying the left the very last thing that I, that I that I saw from that video. Cause I didn't I couldn't watch the full thing. Cause I think I fell asleep when I watched it. But anyway, they the last thing I heard from that video was then their response to one customer was like, if you do, and and I think multiple people too. It's like basically if you don't like your console, return it. We're not. We can't do anything for you. We're not, and we're not going to do anything for you. Yeah. So pretty much, it means they don't care if you had any problems. No, we made the console. We're, we're selling it. You got. You pay us our money, so we can't do anything for you. Like, so basically, you you, you you false advertise. This had to set up. This is how the cycle goes. You false advertise. You scam. 
You, you don't lie. support. You lie and you don't support. No, you fu- no, you you sk- you false re- false advertise scam. You lie, change your story, lie again, and then don't offer support. And it goes around in a circle because you got to keep doing that and keep doing that and keep doing that. And then I there's something else that that they're doing that I think I think could be even worse than what they're doing right now. But I will explain that after Brandon talked about his part because he's been getting to wanting to get to it for a while. Well, these are just some things in Facebook posts that mean you commented on. One I'll of them. T- the we'll posts, talk about yours first. I'm not. I'm not yeah. talking about mine because mine. Well, I have a screenshot of yours too. Yeah, I know, but I'm going to talk about mine after with the whole f- thing that they're doing. So but I'll talk about yours first. I commented on a post of theirs about the seven consoles they announced, and I said, "So with three O's, when are the these, con- these systems coming out? Oh, wait, never mind. Everything you're doing is a scam. I forgot. By the way, you blocked me on Twitter earlier at video underscore bros, and then I put the XD emoji. Looks like you forgot to block me here, too. If you guys cannot handle criticism from people who genuinely want to see you improve, or from everybody criticizing you for the faulty work on all your consoles, you should find a different line of work. Not everyone criticizing you are, tr- are trolls. I think you guys are just trying to scam people. And on another post that I commented on after Jeff commented on it, um, it was on the one of their positive feedback for their uh, Tetris thing. Uh, it was that post. I commented, which was also a post on their Twitter page, by the way. Not that we can go to it because we're blocked. But I commented after Jeff commented on that one, and I said, do I smell a scam? I believe I do. Now thinking about it, I don't blame Sega for firing you for making the Genesis Classic. They smartened up and realized they want a real company to be able to handle that so that the product is of quality, not a half-assed product that was made with the budget of a package of gummy worms. Also, seeing as you all have no idea what you're even doing, and you clearly cannot handle criticism, you should file for bankruptcy and find another line of work, because you guys are just... What you're doing is unethical and wrong. Shame on you. I don't buy this for a second and anybody with even a normal functioning half a normal functioning brain will even see through this sham in which jeff replied with the laughing emoji because jeff knows i'm right and so it's, it's it's true but it's hilarious because you know and you can't you can't go back on on you can't go back on your on your, on your customer and, and you know just lie to them because it's not the right thing to do and you know what this is an analogy i was thinking of the other day Pot, buying and paying for, I guess, going to a Burger King and you buy a Whopper. And then the guy next to you buys a Whopper. And then one of you ends up being told after you already handed the money, oh, just letting you two dudes know, one of you might be getting a Whopper with a piece of shit on it. And the other one might not. So you just got to hope you get lucky. Sorry uh, that there's a turd on one of your sandwiches, probably. What kind of shit is that? Mm, that's not right. Um, or like renting an apartment and then someone near you rents an apartment for the same price and you gotta hope and you're gambling you're hoping you're taking a gamble on renting an apartment that the apartment you have does not have roaches and bed bugs but that the other person ends up might getting one without them and they get lucky it's like that's absolutely asinine I, it's completely baffling to me how they've been getting away with this for so long yeah Jeff read your comment because this is a comment he made and then I made a Similar comment, it was when Jeff was saying he smells a scam, and this is what Jeff has to say. Well, first off, I I made this this comment that I'm going to talk about. I made it because of the fact that, and this is why, um, this is what company annoys me, and and this company is like, and I don't, and, and, and listen, they're they're great companies. Don't get me wrong. You got Namco, you got Bandai Namco, you got Capcom, you got the Tetris company, you got Sega. You know, I love all the... Capcom does some dumb things. Overall, I do think they're a pretty good company. Yeah, but, I mean, overall, like, they're they're a great company. You make good quality products and stuff like that and whatnot. But when you you go out and you're literally coming up and saying that I... We praise and we we are excited that we have a partnership with At Games to have their... To have our... Our our game um, licensed with you. It's like you only the only reason why you're doing this is because you know no matter what because and I understand that that well, like I said we know this is a scam and we know that you know it's 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 not a, it's not a, it's not a good product but in in the grand scheme of things you're selling this to people you're selling this 
as 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 a, as a, as a, as a grab bag. As like a stocking stuffer, as someone, to, as something to give give to your like your your husband, your daughter, or whoever, your grandchildren, whoever, just or your spouse, or someone whatever. that's just a retro gamer with like the like the normal you know nostalgic they're, nostalgic feelings of what that console what that console is, and you know they're they're gonna take it, they're gonna buy it, they're gonna play for it for a little bit, and then probably throw it away or whatever. Yeah, or and just never play it ever again. No, but the thing is. You're not, you're not, you're not selling. It's not a product that you're selling to like me like us. or Brandon, who know about these kind of things. And like we, we can tell when when a console is terrible and a console is not because of poor frame rate, poor graphics, poor this and screen poor that, tearing. screen tearing and whatnot. And you know, you're just most ninety nine percent of the of the, of the consumer pop, pop pop population, the consumer population is you know not smart enough to go and say. Well, I'm actually going to look at this, and I'm actually going to review it, and then I'm actually going to return it later because it's like shit. No, you're going to buy it and give it to your son, like a mother. And they're just going to buy it, and say, "Oh, this look cool," and give it to your son, and your son's going to be like, "Yeah, I got a, I got a new toy, whatever." Blah blah blah. They're not going to look at it and be like, "Wow, wow, wow, this is like really bad." I'm like, no, wow, I, 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 I really just fucked up my life here by buying this. No, but because because this is where I, I, I get to now. We're, we're going to end it very shortly, but. Yeah, this video is about this, what, I'm, what I'm, what I, why I, I'm annoyed by by company praying them for this because all they're gonna do is make money off of it. And the Tetris company, not even, not even At Games themselves, came out and publicly announced it. And only the Tetris company did, and then At Games followed up on it. Is that they're 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 excited that they're getting Tetris on the on the old on the, flat, on the Legends flashback console, which is the fifty. Games in one console that has like all the arcade stuff, all the ROMs, and all this stuff. It's like a mixed bag of everything, but it's all the legends of of, of gaming, the best of the best. You want, I guess you could say. And Tetris, of course, is the one of the best games out there. That's why they put it on there, and they got the liking to it. They were they're excited about it, but they were said they're excited to work with that game on on the Legend Flashback console, but also on the Legends Flashback Ultimate console. And when I looked at that, I was like, wait a second, I've never heard of that one before. And you know what? If it's what if it's just uh, like a like a plus version of the At Games Legend console, and I'm like, no, they kept going on with it. It's legitimately they all of that games that are making it themselves as an arcade machine. You know, with the workings, the you know the coin operation. I guess I don't know how they're gonna work that out, but you know, coin operated, you know, joysticks, you know, control arcade controls. I don't even know how, how I don't even know how they can do that because there's so many different configurations you can do for so many different games. You have to pick the right way to do it first off because like, well, the original like Centipede had like a trackball you play with it. Tempest had like a spinning wheel type of thing, and you know there's multiple different ways to do an arcade stick, but an arcade cabinet that they're making an arcade machine that has 400 games on it plus games on it. What do you think about that first? I don't even see how that's even going to be possible to be honest. Now, because now, because this is what I, I told Brandon too, and I was like, "This whole thing get, reminds me of the Ed and Eddie episode where they make this thing called a thingamajig, and then there's only one that exists. It's the prototype, and everyone's just buying a box of random things in it. Like mm-hmm. Sarah's was a box full of bricks. Someone else's had a box full of like shoehorns. I mean, uh, horseshoes, and then uh, just all sorts of random things are just in these boxes and not the actual product itself. <laughs> That's what this feels like to me. You know what would be crazy? What? what was that? Let's! Oh my God! Uh, it's at game. They're coming back. They're coming back with the greatest thing ever. The Legends Flashback. You know, in the Legend Ultimate Flashback Arcade Machine. Wait, the Walmart exclusive. It comes with one extra game on it, and then you find out that every single version is just like the arcade, like one version, the arcade version, and one game, and one version is the NES version. But you literally just paid for the same price for both for both versions. Yeah. I feel like that would be the thing, but. Here's what I here's what I said to sit on on um. Yeah, I was waiting for you to tell me. Yeah, here's what I said about um. Well, I already know, but tell the people listening because there are people that will be interested in hearing this rant video of ours because uh, they know that we don't like the crap that at games is pulling. No, I said first. Of all, I said, how are you gonna like this? This is this is the response to the arcade machine because I so I still don't know how they're gonna make this. But here's what I said: like, how are you gonna be able to make make this a product that won't scam people like the Bad Nine Namco flashback console you made. Are you seriously expecting that after what you just did with that console, releasing two different versions of it, and not even telling people that they're that they're actually com- completely different versions of the game that you advertise, 
with the latter of the two versions, the Walmart exclusive being the worst of the two by providing NES ROM with poor emulation, and it only comes with eight games on it. If you can't even emulate, if you can't even emulate games on it, if you can't even emulate eight games properly, mind the fact that it's just an HDMI stick and a controller. The controller is great, okay, but not great. How are you going to emulate 400 plus games on a machine that also requires more than just what's in it and an HDMI stick and and the controller? Are we to believe that what has happened in the past and present with your poorly emulated console is going to be fixed? No, because you couldn't even get eight games to run properly on TVs, and now you're going to make an arcade machine that needs a bigger that need that need bigger components on the inside, plus needs to run properly on on a dis display that you build yourself, and a full onboard arcade controller. I smell a scam, and I smell quantity quantity over quality with four with four hundred plus games built in. You guys need to just stop making consoles and pushing out the same thing year after year. It's getting old. And nothing you do is amazing. Yeah, and I totally agree with that. Like, they, they were never good in the hardware business, and now all of a sudden they're going to go and you know, decide that they can make an arcade machine. Literally, you can you can hook up your your any any, any at game system, the HDMI version of, of them, to any TV in the world, and it'll work. But what the problem is, though, is that they're not, they're not building these HDMI sticks or HDMI consoles to work on that specific TV that you're building, they're more making to work on old, on on any TV, which is any console in general that should do that. But now that the fact that they're actually making an arcade machine with the with hardware that they're building themselves that has to re literally run everything that's inside of that has to run properly on a, on a, on a display that they build. Meaning it can't meaning that that display has to be lag free, has to, has to be. It has to have no screen tearing. No screen tearing. No it, frame it, skips. It, remember, this is an arcade machine, meaning there, yeah. there had to be 100% zero lag, which is never going to happen, first of all, because of the fact that no matter how good you make your product, <laughs> it's emulation, and emulation always has uh, At some, least some lag. Some lag to some degree. Not not like it's going to break your game or anything, the lag, but it, there's lag in there. It's not like playing on an old school C, C, CRT TV or, you know, or a tube TV or whatnot. But. First off, you're getting you're, you're already, you have to have at least the most minimal lag possible that you could ever get from your emulation. First off, making make sure the emulation is good so that so that lag is dropped down as far as it can go. Then you have to make sure that all the games run properly, synced up correctly to the screen that you're that you're running because you have um you know frame rate. First off, have to match the the, the frame rate and the and the the hertz of the screen, how fast the screen is blinking at you every second. So either a 60 hertz screen or a 120 hertz screen, whatever the hell you want to put in there, even though most of them are probably, um, what do you call it? Most of them are, you know, arcade, I guess, so like 30 frames. I'm assuming, I, I don't I don't know the technical specifications of arcade machines, can each one different. But now you have to also, and I just thought of this too, because there's no way you can please one consumer with this product now, because... Think about this. You have, say you put an NES ROM on there, right? Yeah. Now it's going to be like, okay, you can either have it a 4x3 screen, or you can have it like the Galaga machines, which the Galaga machines are stretched out horizontally, I mean, I mean, vertically. Like like the Vector, like the Vectrex or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have a tall screen, like Punch-Out was on a tall screen, like Donkey Kong on a tall screen. Yeah. All that. So you're going to have to put all those games out and figure out how to get that to fit on... On, on a screen that looks properly on an arcade machine, either you're either you're gonna give us all arcade ROMs, or you're gonna or you're gonna dip out and you know go for go for the cheaper cheaper NES ROM or whole console ROM because you can't because you think that you can still tell us sell us sell us a console or a machine for the same price as you normally would put cheaper ROMs on there so it costs you less to put the ROMs on there and then get a bigger profit out of it. Yeah. To end off the video. At games, if for some reason you ever come across this, I don't hate you guys, but I think what you're doing is really unethical, and I don't ever wish this on normal people. Normal companies, I never wish it on of any company. But I hope your company goes out of business. I don't see you guys lasting any longer, and I hope you guys get a different line of work, especially because you've shown you clearly can't handle criticism. If you can't handle criticism, you should just get off social media and stay in a bubble somewhere. And also, 
just find a job at McDonald's, see if some other job's hiring, get out of the gaming industry, please. Also, screw you and shame on you for what you're doing to hey, people, because it's hey, wrong. Hey, hey, stop being a bunch hey, of penises. Hey, I like McDonald's. Don't make them work there. They're gonna give me. They're gonna oh, give me yeah. the acting. They're That's, gonna give me. They're okay. gonna give me the acting version of, of a Big Mac, which is just you know the buns. They'll no, give, not even. They'll give you a, a whopper with a turd on it, like I mentioned. No, they're gonna because they, they don't know what the secret sauce is, what what the Big Mac sauce is. So yeah. they're, just, they're just gonna make their own version. Okay, get a job and see if Walmart nearby you is hiring or something, which would be very fitting because they sell your consoles anyway. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're gonna end it off there, but yeah, that that's the end because I. I'm losing brain cells even mentioning the name of them. And we didn't mean for this video to go on for as long as it did. I was hoping it'd be like a 10 or 15 minute video, but yeah, we, it you know, went on longer than one we One thing that I will say, and to end this video off, I will give them credit. No matter how bad their consoles actually are, they're nothing like a fucking um, the company that, that made Action 52. Yeah, it's true. I was thinking that Because at least that was a worse scam than anything. You made a, a game that cost over $250. Yeah. But yeah, we'll we'll end it there. Yeah, so um, this video's gone on long enough as it is, and there yeah, will be some and, stuff coming out. So thank you so much for watching. Click the annotations on screen. Click all the descriptions in the in the links below. And so click all the links in the description below that will be linked to um, some of our videos, some of or probably little of our videos because we have to put the well, videos from John Hancock, the, the videos from Mad Little Pixel, and the videos. From Rich from Review Tech USA, and we'll put them in order so you can see the timeline of what's going on. And if you see any information out there about this stuff still going on, and more information going on about it, and that they're pulling more more scams and changing their stories or or anything, let us know in the comments below. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and, and we'll don't buy any consoles for Mac games unless unless you hate yourself. No, unless unless you know you're trying to you're trying to see how bad a console is just just to get just get a laugh out of it. Yeah, or yeah, if you want to buy it as a joke, that's go what ahead. I did. I did I did that once, and you know what? Go ahead if you want to do that. It's your money, but eh, we warned you. Don't say we didn't warn you if you do, though. I mean, I did. I didn't. I didn't regret it because I knew what I would get myself into. <laughs> I already knew what I'd get myself into. I just I just needed to experience it myself once in my lifetime. I used to have one of their Atari flashback consoles. After a while, when I tried hooking up my room to play it, it didn't work anymore. I don't blame it. Yeah, it, it I think just, it was just like it didn't turn on anymore. It didn't work whatsoever. I think it, I think it was like a guy that that was that was sitting on a deathbed, and he just like pull the plug, pull the plug, <laughs> and then he, or or he just like at least I'm able to move my arm a little bit. He just reached into the drawer and grabbed and gun and shot himself. <laughs> He's like, I can't deal with this company at games anymore. <laughs> but the console killed itself. <laughs> yeah. My Atari flashback killed itself. That's why it stopped working. But uh, anyway, um, yeah. thank you so much for watching. Um, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.